The disaster happened, I can say, during the night. Early in the morning, around 04 to 05 hours, that's when someone came and knocked on my door and said, Madam, can you come and see what has happened at school? The roof of the school was blown off completely. The rain was pouring on the bricks. That's when the walls started falling apart. And that was the destruction of the school. This is where my classroom was. This is where we were learning with the, from the grade 6 and the grade 7. Some of the parents got their pupils to other schools far away and some they have been stopped. That was not good for the children because their future lies in their education. No education, no future. And most of them in the community school are vulnerable children. They need to learn and I'm ready to teach no matter what. So we started teaching in the church. I'm Agnes Kanjela, and I'm the teacher in charge of Twaluka Community School. Teaching, it was not my talent, but when I came here, looking at the environment, seeing how the people, the people were living here, I just said no. Can I help? If the teacher is motivated, she will do her best. Mainly, I have to start at 12 hours now because of the distance of children. Some of them stay very far from the school because in our area, there is no other school apart from our school. So I've given them 15 minutes, not more than that. Morning class. How are you? We are fine, thank you. The church is too small for our children and we have a large number of children. And imagine four classes and each class have almost 35, 30 children, 26 children and you are teaching them at the same time. It is a hard task for a teacher for class management but nothing we can do. Because what we want is to teach. We want people to learn. Because we are looking in the future of the children. Match each word to the correct synonym in the box. And these are the synonyms at school. The teacher must be motivating the children. If the child does something that is not that good, you have to find the words, the good words to use to that child. Very good try. Blessings, can you help? Because if you start scolding him or her, you are stupid, useless, foolish. You have done nothing. The fear will reflame that child from learning. So we come to number one. Who can read number one for me? Philip? Beauty. Very good. Beautiful. I make sure that I get close to my children. That all the problems they have facing, they are not even shy to tell me. We do things as a family. You are doing something, but you want a friend to assist. What is to assist? Sabino Faith? Very good. In the past, people didn't believe in the education with a girl child. They say girl child places in the kitchen. So we have to start teaching gender to the children when they are young. You consider all the pupils, boys, girls, they are also the same. And they should move at the same level. We are starting with the assessment in mathematics. So you have to make sure that at least each and every child gains something from the school. Because if you concentrate on only those who are concentrating, then the others there, they will gain nothing. They will just end up in the streets. So when preparing for their lessons, I have to put them in my mind. When I do this or when I say this, is this child going to understand? If not, what will I do? At our community school, 
there are specifically no salaries for teachers. I'm just working for the betterment of the community and the betterment of the pupils or the children in our community. So, as teachers, apart from teaching, we have to do something in order to look after our families and to look after ourselves. We work as hard as we can in order to make the ends meet. Teaching now is part of me. So each and every time I feel good when I think about teaching. It has become my talent and I like teaching. Yeah, I like teaching and I enjoy teaching. <laughs> My biggest dream and hope is to see a big, big school which is well furnished, it has a laboratory and it is catering for pupils from early childhood to grade 12. This will be our new classrooms. As you can see, this is a foundation. We are near to start it. And this will be my class? Yes, it will be my class, yes. <laughs> it will be, yes. The community at large is the ones who are responsible for building the school. And they are the ones who are doing it. Yeah, they are giving anything they can give in order for the school to be built. Because those who are building there, they are parents from the community. And whatever is needed, you all know you need sand, you know you need what. They are the parents who are in the forefront. Yeah. And even the, the, the people are helping. So because they know that the talent is for, the good, for their good. So the program is going on well. Already it is looking nice. So when it is occupied with the benches, tables, chairs, cabinets, no, it will be splendid. <laughs> Those plants there, they are for okra. So when they come here, we'll start again a vegetable garden because there is water nearby. I'm Agnes Kanjela and I'm the teacher in charge of Twaluka Community School.